the supplies we're going to be using today, we're going to need some paper, a ruler, scissors, pencils, various sizes of brushes, acrylic paint, and we got a lot of different colors. And uh, this is the type of paper I'm going to be using. Is uh, It's a 98 pound paper, but you can use anything for this project, even regular old uh, photocopying paper will be good for the white and for the 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 colored piece of paper you can use any color and uh, it's just regular old construction paper so we'll get these out of the way the first part of our project is we're going to be making the teepee and a frame for it. So we want it to to kind of look like there's a frame around our picture. So we want to cut some of this white piece off. See, they're exactly the same size. We want to cut a little, we're probably going to cut about an inch off of each side. So then we can make a cozy little frame for, so we're just going to measure Roughly an inch or so. So there we have a cozy little frame for our picture. And this will help, especially if you're using uh, regular like thin photocopy paper, this will help stabilize your picture too when you're, you're hanging it up or putting it on the wall or uh, on your window. So now what we want to do, we want to create uh, that teepee where the sun is going to glow and light up the teepee. So how we do that is we have to cut the teepee out of the black piece of paper or any whatever color paper you have and then the light will shine more through on this piece of paper. So there's roughly, you know, a triangle shape and that's where the light is going to shine through the black and it's going to light up the colors on your white piece of paper. So we just want to cut this out now. How do we get that to exactly match our white paper? So let's first kind of find where we want to place it. And let's flip it over. You can kind of tack it with some tape there too if you don't trust that it might move. But and then I want you, just like a stencil, to draw it in. So now we have the exact placement when you when you paint your teepee on there. It's gonna match exactly that open space in the back. 
and that's where your light is going to shine through. Now we're going to start painting and we have our acrylic paints and we have a palette. A lot of times I just use uh, an ice cream lid, ice cream pail lid and uh, I just put saran wrap over it too and say the paints I'm working with. And uh, a cup and some water, some paper towel so you can wipe your brushes and we're going to get started. So we do have our uh, teepee frame there and I did uh, cut it out a little bigger. So I'll just cut it out a little more there. And when you're cutting out your teepee, you can also like place it there. And a really easy way to do is place it up against a window. You can see, kind of see there. If you're up against a window, you can exactly see where your teepee is going to, where your, um, and draw your triangle in there. So that's kind of a cool way too, and that's kind of the way the reflection of the light is going to come and shine through your paper and, and uh, create that glowing, that light that's going to be inside the teepee. So now we're going to just create our background and we're not going to spend too much time on detail. I'm just going to show you a crisscross technique that will give you lots of texture and depth and things going on in the background. So we want to keep this clear. You can put masking tape around it if you want. A good little trick you can do is you can just put some masking tape there and the triangle that you cut out of your your black construction paper or your colored construction paper, whatever you're using for your frame. You can just put it there so you don't have to worry about getting paint because that part of your your picture is your teepee and it's gonna be a, a canvas color or a glowing color. So we're gonna use like yellows and stuff like that. So here we got our, um, our blue and we're just gonna mix little bit of white with but I want to start off with I want to I want to be darker on the edges and then a little bit lighter when it gets towards the teepee and that's because the teepee is got a fire in it so it's creating its own light too we also want to go from darker to light so this the skyline or the tree line so we're gonna start with some dark and we're just gonna do this crisscross and I don't want you to worry about, I just want you to, I want you to have all that nice, see that nice texture in there? And it's going to create depth and layers. I don't want you to worry about covering it completely. You want some white to show through the paint, through the painting. And the lower you get, you can add a little bit more white to it. So I'm just grabbing some white and then I'll just add a little bit of white. Cross again. You see when the paint runs out of your uh, brush, it does get a little bit lighter too. So I'm going to pull some white into that. And it's going to keep getting lighter and lighter as we go down the painting. I'm going to hold that down too so I don't get, I probably got a little bit of blue paint in there, but that's okay. So we're going to pull more white in I think more white in there and just crisscross crisscross got some texture and color so we want to create a little bit of a glow around the teepee as well so I want to pull more white just mix it in there so I got this really light blue going and then I'm gonna kind of put that around the teepee maybe just a little bit too you can kind of dab it on there and see what you like so just around the teepee, I just want a little bit of extra glow. Now, our 
brush a little bit of that paint off and kind of just blend it in. I want to keep that that texture looking going, so I want to keep crisscrossing. So that crisscrossing, it kind of created, you know, it could be some clouds in the sky. It also can be trees back there too, covered in snow. There's a lot of things. It's how you interpret it. And you can take a little bit of the darker blue and the more layers you add, the darker it's gonna get. So let's add a little bit of uh, dark blue, just around the, the top of the edges. dark around and it keeps getting lighter and lighter and we also created this little glow around our teepee I think I'm gonna add a little bit more white there to the glow so I'm just gonna pull some white into it to hold your teepee down there or maybe even tape it down a little better I probably never taped it down as good as I should have I'm just really making it nice and crisscrossy because I want to see those lines in there I want to see that So while it's still wet, I am going to put a little bit of yellow in there. And why am I going to put some yellow? Because I want some of that glow to be coming off the teepee. Not too much, just a real hint of it. I got some yellow on this other palette. I'm going to steal. I'm going to grab some white, a little bit of yellow. So what I want to do is just kind of make a nice little yellow glow. And we're just gonna incorporate that really lightly in, around. that yellow to kind of be under there so we'll put a little bit of blue over it so it's just it's you know it's there kind of a glow kind of satisfied I feel like there's lots of layers and some and lots of depth going in there I could kind of see the glow and remember we're not focusing on too much detail we just want to create this real ambient piece that's going to hang in the window there you go so now we're going to do kind of a tree line and 
here is where we're gonna just take uh, our darker blue and that's our like our ground level so we take the dark blue and we run it across Now we're going to create some trees here in the back of our teepee. So you could use a smaller brush. I like to just keep using the same nice big thick brush, but it's up to you. There's various sizes of brushes that I have here. And um, you could use a tiny brush if you want to create your trees. Or you can just turn your bigger brush to the side. So it's kind of like, it's just kind of using this space instead of like this space. So you're gonna take your brush to the side. Uh, I'll use the big brush for this whole piece, just in case you just have one big brush, you won't have to be stressing out because you could use a big brush to make a small line too. So I'm putting my brush on my side and I'm just running it up there. So I start from the bottom because I want the base of my tree to be bigger and then I'm going to run it up and then get more paint. You can add a little more water. You can start with your dark blue. So you're getting your paint and you're just kind of running it up there. The bottom of your tree line is probably going to be dark so you can kind of fill this in. Now if I had the bottom of my skyline really dark blue and then I'm trying to paint the trees and that's where you could see what would create a problem because then your trees would blend in with your skyline and when when you're looking out at a skyline it naturally is generally lighter at the bottom. and I'm just gonna pat it so I'll just use it on this napkin and show you so I'm just gonna pat it and you can actually pat on a piece of paper or your napkin or something to just get some of that paint off and then go to the side and just start patting so we're creating branches so just pat them on there. and it's nice at first maybe get some some paint off your brushes so you know it doesn't go on there so thick we're just putting random branches there we'll do some dark ones here and there And like I said, uh, jack pine, like they're really, they're, they're never really even. So when you're making trees, don't worry about trying to make things even because uh, natural tree lines aren't even like that. So if you, you're trying to make things too even and trying to worry about being too perfect, there's nothing like, nothing perfect in nature. Nature is full of lots of mysterious things nothing is even in nature so i think i want to put a tree there i just feel like i need another tree there and then i'll add more branches so i'm just making lines up then i'm just tapping so now i just want to create some depth in those trees too and I'm, all i'm going to do is i'm just going to start adding you know some some color to it so so I use my same brush, my same technique, and I'm just gonna start spotting some color on there. And what that does, some lighter, lighter blue, it's just adding depth to my trees. You know, and it's adding like some, some snow on there and some 
shadows. And just be really free with your brush. And just dab it on like that. You can do some nice little dabs at the bottom too for some snow and stuff. And you can uh, see we kind of got a little bit lighter and lighter. I want to take a little bit more white there and just add maybe some dabs of white. Just to give it a little bit some snow in there. Just kind of putting it randomly, adding snow to the branches, the top of the branches, the snow is laying on top of the branches. And I got some white again, and then I'm just like dabbing it here, put some snow laying there. Now why do you think the snow would be blue? I'm painting this winter scene why are the trees blue when these are actually evergreen tree trees but when you're looking out into the night everything is in shadows and the blue sky and everything is a, it is reflecting off that snow so I'm gonna dab the top of my trees there just so they're nice and put a little dark um, dabs here and there it's gonna kind of it's gonna kind of like it's showing my tree trunks through so like hey there's tree trunks in there there's my jack pine tree trunk so it just gives it a little tiny bit of detail in your, your drawing So now we got some tree trunks, we got our branches, we got different colors. We're creating depth and snow on our trees. Now this part is just going to be snow, but we're going to make it, uh, ref there's gonna be the reflection of the sky and the blue night sky onto the snow. So we're gonna um, take some white here. We're just gonna put it in this, this palette. So it's gonna kind of be a nice light blue. And we'll start off with that. And we'll do the same technique we're using. We're just doing like little crisscrosses. It's a real fun way to learn how to paint because you don't have to be so serious and worry about making mistakes. And it's a real awesome way to create lots of texture and depth in your painting. Might be a good idea to, to when you're painting too, you could actually um, tape down your, your paper which I didn't do, so I'm kind of holding it down so it doesn't move around too much. I mean, it's up to you. So I got some of that blue, and then I want to add a little bit more dark to it. fun and it, and it mixes into the paint. Sometimes when you use too little paint, it doesn't blend really nice. So I want to add some more white just here along the top and closer to the teepee. So 
so I feel like I like that. There's lot, like there's lots of different colors and movement and texture there, and uh, you know it looks like people could be walking around and there could be things happening there on the ground and lots of different shading. The only thing I think I might want to do is just kind of tidy this up now. going to take this off so I might have got some blue under there I hope I didn't get too much oh it's okay a little bit but if you tape it down better you probably have I only use one little piece of tape so now we can get rid of this and that was the triangle that we cut out and then we're left with this now so you can wait for this to dry for a few minutes, but our acrylic dries really fast. And you can also do this, uh, this type of project with watercolor. It looks really, really good with watercolors too. And watercolors dry super fast too. So now we're gonna start our teepee. And I wanna use, um, I got some yellow and I also have some brown here. Don't want it like uh, completely yellow because then if we make our paint too dark, our light isn't gonna be able to shine through. So be careful not to make your teepee with too many layers of paint or too dark because you wanna have it light enough where the, the paint can still come through. So we're just going to put a little bit of white paint there and we're going to kind of blend these two to kind of make a nice yellow. So we got, we mix some white and some yellow. It's still pretty dark. I think maybe just a little, well, let's try it. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty nice. So we ain't going to put this too too dark remember because we want our light to shine through so we want a nice nice soft yellow That's pretty bright. I want to add a little bit more white to it before it dries. So, and then it's gonna kind of blend into it. So I'm just adding a little bit more white on top. So that glow, that yellow will kind of be underneath this layer of white. So you see how the paint changed there. So we're, we're using another layer of white, but we're not darkening our teepee because we don't want to get those colors too dark because we want the colors light enough where the sun is going to be able to shine through. I'm kind of liking the way that looks now. I don't want to put any more uh, paint on that now because it'll get too uh, thick. I'm just going to use uh, a little bit of brown now. Let's put a little bit of brown in here. We don't need that much brown at all. And 
we're gonna add brown to the top before it dries so it, it can kind of blend into our paint. So we don't wanna wait till our yellow paint dries. We wanna get in there, we'll get a little bit of water on our brush. So our brown paint's pretty watery, see that? So we, we don't want it to be too thick because it won't blend right. So we've got some water going there. And then we're just going to start at the top. And just bring some brown into that. Seems like I got a little bit too much water on there. So the top of my teepee is a little bit darker because when the fire burns, the top of your teepee gets all full of ash. So on teepees, there's generally um, like you have the, your door, your teepee, and uh, and then there's the flap that opens up. On this teepee, we're not going to do that, uh, but you can actually get really detailed with your your teepee. We're just going to create kind of an outline of one, so we're not going to worry about too many details right now. Because this is for you know for beginning where we're not going to get stressed out and so we're going to bring some of that brown down and outline and then at the bottom too i want you to start from the bottom and bring some brown up I want to give it a little bit more paint. And the same thing here, we're going to just pull that down. Now for kind of happy with the way it looks. Like I said, you can get really detailed with it later, but for now we're not going to focus on that. Um, we're just going to focus on creating a nice teepee little glow in your window. So now we're going to do the teepee poles. Generally there is 15 teepee poles that go up, but we're not going to uh, paint 15 poles coming out of this teepee just because we're we're looking out into the night and sometimes in the night you ain't going to see all that, those details and this painting isn't really about all those details but we want to put some poles up there so let's say if you want to be looking out from the front of your teepee and you want the door out here you can have it i'm going to pretend i'm looking out at the back of my teepee so i i just i'm just seeing the poles in the back of my teepee and the door and the flap maybe in the front when you're putting a teepee up you generally want to always have your um your door set up facing east and there's many teachings around Putting your poles up and constructing your teepee, even getting the poles. So I uh, 
when we put our teepee up out in the yard, we go through all the, the, the correct way when we construct our teepee. We put our three poles up first and we wrap those and, and we give thanks and prayer as we're setting our teepee up. So I'm going to put, uh, maybe I'll just kind of put it randomly on it. So put some back here. If you try draw 15 poles there, it's just going to look too busy and chaotic. So um, I'd maybe put four or five poles up there just for the sake of the painting. We got our teepee poles up. Now, when our teepee poles, there's 15 poles that run through the teepee. So we're gonna kinda, we're gonna use that uh, brown paint too, and we're gonna, we're gonna make our poles running through our teepee. So I'll, I'll just get a little bit darker here on this edge because that's that's gonna be a pole. happy with that you know if it's your first time painting you, you don't want to be too critical you just got to remember you're having fun nothing in nature is perfect so you just always got to remember to have fun when you're creating So I see a little bit of white there. So I kind of want to put a little bit of snow around when uh, um, when it's winter out, like I have to go out and, and brush off my teepee and make fires, it keeps the canvas dry because if there's so much snow on your teepee, it's gonna knock over your structure. So I'm just gonna Grab a little bit of white and blue there. So I got more white. Maybe mix it with some blue. I don't use this often. I always use like an ice cream pail lid. So um, I just got this with a little paint set. So I thought I'd use it. But yeah, it's almost better to use a lid because you could kind of mix paint a lot better on a bigger ice cream pail lid. So I just, I, I, I'm happy with this kind of light blue here. I wanna add, I wanna take like a little chunk of white paint too, cause I want it to kind of look real. And I'm gonna kind of blob it on there cause I wanna kind of give it a little bit of texture, like snow, see? brush on the side and I'm I got my paint kind of thick too because it almost looked like paint like like snow when I on this teepee. And now I'm 
just using straight white and it's kind of blending in. There, so we got some snow. So there's only snow on the bottom of my teepee because like I said, I made a nice warm fire in there. And when you make a nice fire in your teepee, you you melt all the snow and make sure like you want to brush the snow off and make your fire because you don't want to create ice on your teepee too if it wreck your canvas. I keep my teepee up all winter time and, and make fires and really, really You can add as much detail as you want now. You can pause the pause the video and you can put more detail. You can make a door on your teepee. You could make some flaps here. But today for time management, we're not gonna get too detailed. I am gonna put a little bit of light colors up on these poles because we do wanna have some shadow up there too. So we do wanna grab some white and we wanna put a little bit on these poles too because we need, a, we need to have some shadow up there. And we need to create a little bit of depth in our holes. You can even use felt pen or crayon. After it dries, you can do some detail on top of this with, with some pencil crayon too. So we're gonna add our finishing touches and you can do a lot of different things. Like you can add some sparkles to it. You can glue things to it. You can use pencils, felt to finish it off. So I'll just, for an example, I'll use a little bit of charcoal here just to kind of finish up my... So this is a charcoal. I'm gonna be careful because this is still wet, so. And then I got some white here and I'm just gonna You know, create a couple of uh, uh, ribbons. They're they're blowing in the. We'll put one up here. So it creates that wind blowing. So we're gonna finish our picture off. Our final detail will be to add some snow to this, and. It'll also add some stars to our sky too. So um, if you wanna just have a starry sky and no snow, you can put your triangle back on. So I'll kind of do that as an example first. And then we will add some more, more layers. So we're making snow. So we cover that up. And I did get some fresh water here because our water was so dirty. So we got our white, we got one in our palette, we have just white paint. And we're gonna add lots of water to it here. So we're gonna add some water. So it's kind of a, like a watery paint now. And what you wanna do is you wanna take your brush and you wanna I'm gonna I'm gonna use an example on a different piece of paper, um, maybe just this part here, because we're not gonna use that. See that? So you just wanna, so you kind of wanna go to like a scrap piece of paper and get uh, that lot of that water off of there first and once you get that water off then you could then you could see it's really spraying nice so 
you just kind of hold your brush off and use your finger and just fan it onto your So there we go we got lots of stars we got like bigger snowfall and you can you can use as much as you want you can kind of you can add more detail later you can do lots of cool stuff now we're going to use this piece of paper which is just a piece of construction paper you can use any color you want to frame your art with and uh we're gonna put that down. So we're gonna go take this to the window and see if it matches up on the back. 